I think what the foundation appreciated about this building uh, was the idea of really looking at it holistically when it comes down to sustainability. We did not focus on a single um, aspect such as material efficiency or technological sustainability, but it was really the idea of using multiple kind of factors that contribute to a sustainable building from the kind of lightweight uh, structure of using steel to the kind of more simpler, uh, let's say, ventilation systems that were um, created um, while still allowing a kind of high level of comfort, but also then all the way to sort of the spatial um, openness um, that, you know, from a kind of s social sustainability point of view, really created a more inclusive environment. Now for us, this uh, project was um, really an opportunity to uh, try something we hadn't done before. And um, it asked for a building to be built above the existing ruins of Agusta Realica. So instead of what we normally do, we excavate and we build into the ground. Um, here it was essentially the opposite. We had to build in a way above the ground so the, the ruins could be preserved um, far beyond essentially the lifespan of this building. The competition project we submitted was called Dr. Jones, and so the Raiders of the Lost Ark just followed us from the very beginning. What we felt uh, was really interesting there for us to imagine um, was this juxtaposition. On the one side, you have these requirements uh, for the archives uh, of this scale to be super functional and very sort of streamlined. So this, let's say, Amazon warehouse comes to mind. But we wanted to couple that with the architectural quality, like a spatial quality, a sort of atmosphere created through the architecture that would remind us much more at this sort of uh, last scene of Raiders of the Lost Ark, where uh, you see just these hundreds and thousands of, kind of boxes of, uh, art in this sort of messy or archive. I think what drew us mainly to the awards um, was the challenge of having this building recognized as a sustainable building because it is not maybe perfect candidate for that. We're building in a very niche, very specific kind of environment for archaeology. And we just wanted to show the relevance of, you know, still using a kind of uh, um, a building like this, um, applying new ideas, applying important thinking about the concept of sustainability in today's challenges. For us, that was the main you know, reason.